I got to talk about Carl Lentz. This video is brought to you by The Officer Tatum Store. The Officer Tatum Store. Get the merch link in the description section. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to my channel. Hit that join button so you can join the Tatum Squad. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, I normally try to stay away from Christian and, and religious talk and, and critique because people get in their feelings. But I have to talk about Carl Lentz, the former pastor of Hillsong, I think it's Hillsong Church. I don't know which Hillsong Church it is, but he is an incredibly popular pastor. Now, from the very beginning, I can watch one sermon and look at two pictures on his Instagram and tell you that he's a fraudulent pastor to start with. And the reason why I say that is because if you have any level of discernment and godly discernment, you can pick these people out a mile away. You could tell Querfalo Dollar is, is a fraudulent pastor. You could tell that uh, Joe Osteen ain't no Christian, ain't no Christian pastor. He's a motivational speaker. You could, you should be able to see these things from a mile away through spiritual eyes. Carl Lentz and some of these other big time pastors are more concerned about a congregation. They're more concerned about popularity and fame and the secular world, and they're not focused on the things of God. I can I, I can assure you this. How do you know, Mister Tatum? How does a man of God? A preacher with such an influence cheat on your wife. And then what does he do? Let's go to Tatum Report because we got it up on the Tatum Report. Shout out to Tatum Report. Shout out to the Tatum Report. Y'all go check out Tatum Report. We got it all there. So disgraced former Hillsong Pastor Carl Lentz seek treatment for depression and burnout. Disgraced Pastor uh, Carl Lentz is getting help after being accused of cheating on his wife multi with multiple women. The former uh, leader of Trending Hillsong Church in New York City, surprise, surprise, is seeking treatment at an outpatient facility that specializes in depression, anxiety, and pastoral burnout. A source confirms um, with uh, to the to the page six uh, Tuesday night. Page six. Thank y'all for the article. We aggregated their article, but pastoral burnout. Somebody, somebody, help me! I need y'all to help me. How does pastoral burnout anxiety cause you to cheat on the woman that you love? No, 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 no. Not the woman that you love. The woman that God has put in your life and your excuse for cheating with multiple women. No, no, no. Not just cheating. Getting caught because you didn't seek pastoral burnout when you were pumping and sweating and smashing and dashing. Only when you got caught. Only when the woman exposed you that you now seek. This is one thing that bothers me, and especially pastors. How do you seek help after you get caught? Why, why is it after you get caught? Why can't you seek help in the midst of your struggles? As you're going to church and preaching and teaching and claiming that you're hearing from God and you're empowered by the Holy Spirit and you can't even discern, you can't even... God ain't telling you to stop cheating on your wife. Somehow these things are not coming into your atmosphere of worship. And you and you give some lame excuse. It, that's, that's, that's shameful. I'm a man. I'm married. And I know people probably say that I ain't got my ring on. I was putting lotion on my hand and left my ring in the shower. So I'm a married man. Do you know how difficult it is and how much effort it takes and how evil you have to be to cheat on your wife? You, you, you have, it, it, there, there has to, and then you're a pastor of a church. Like you got to go through so many steps to cheat and be having affairs with women. Bruh. Like, like my wife and I are very open. We have, we have, she, she have access to my phone. She have my passwords. Why does she have it? Cause she's my wife. I don't, I don't need, I don't need to have, you know, privacy unless I'm trying to, you know, do a surprise for my wife or something like that. Then, of course, I want my privacy so she don't catch me. But I'm smart enough to do it uh, around. But and if she catch me, I'm not. We're not going to ruin our marriage, right? It's a surprise. But anyway, I, I, I think that you have to methodically go through the process of meeting somebody, entertaining another woman, hiding that from your wife, whether it be a burner phone or whatever, whatever dudes are doing these days to try to have this relationship with your wife. Now, being married, 
a man has to pursue and actively be productive in his own marital relationship. So trying to please your wife and be nice and be understanding and listen and be and be present with your wife and try to do that with another woman at the same time, you are malicious. You your, your culpable mental state is intent, knowingly and intentionally cheating. This is not something where I'm burnt out of pastoring. So, oh, I fell and slipped off into some woman's bedroom. Bro, you have to work the relationship with somebody else. Then you have to lie to that person. She, I think she mentioned that at some point he was he was married when he met her. And then he was like, oh, let's hang out anyway, even though she's married. And she ain't nobody either. Man, that's a dirty, nasty woman to be sleeping with a married man who's a pastor. You, you're just as much of a devil as he is. But I, I just I feel that it's a necessity for me to speak about these things because it is shameful. And I'm sick of pastors making excuses after excuses after excuse after excuse. Oh, I was weak. I was in a moment. I cheated on my wife. Let, let me tell y'all something. If B. Tatum ever were to get on here and say, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I apologize. I cheated on my wife. Y'all have every right to never talk, never mention Brandon Tatum's name again. I don't want your forgiveness. I don't deserve your forgiveness. Please never follow me again. Delete my channel. Never talk about me again. I am dead to you if I go off the limb and cheat on my wife. Now, let me say this. Why, why would Brandon never cheat on I love my wife. I care about my wife's feelings. I care about my wife's future. I'm committed to my wife, not only on paper, financially, and I'm committed in life. We're having a child together. There is no amount of nookie that can get me to want to mess my whole life up with my wife for an affair. And I'm not even leading, uh, to some degree I'm leading, but I'm not leading a flock of Christians proclaiming to be righteous every day and going and, and, and pumping and sweating somewhere with some other woman. So I, I just, I just got to throw that out there. These people are fraudulent pastors. What's done in the dark will come to the light. That's, that's exactly what it is. How do you know them? You should know them by their fruit. Carl Lentz, all these other flamboyant pastors who wearing skinny jeans every day and trying to be all hip and cool and, 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 and in their personal life, they're completely living secular. They have no connection to God. Y'all need to pay attention to these pastors. There ain't no way in the world a man of God with that much success and God has done that much for him, if that's in fact God doing it, that you will then betray God by, by, and betray your family. This man got a wife, he got kids, and now you're a public display. The Bible says, to much is given, much is required. That means the bigger your platform is, that means the, the, the more solid you got to be. Because when you fall, you take a whole generation of people down with you. There's probably so many people that looked up to Carl Lentz. So many people thought he was hearing from God. So many people probably did marriage counseling with Carl Lentz. And then, then you find out he's a complete fraud. You have an obligation to not only protect your own family, to protect your wife, to protect your kids, and protect the mantle that God has given you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Know who y'all up here are going to their churches. And it's all cool and fun and dandy until they cheat on their wife. I had to get that out of my system. I'm not trying to be what they call judgmental. But you shall know them by their fruits. I'm not condemning them. God can redeem them. He can still go to heaven at some point. If that's between him and God. But what I will say is that that is that is not acceptable. That's shameful. That man is not a pastor hearing from God, period. No ifs, ands, or buts. Our goal is to be like Jesus. And these people are coming out here with the mantle, with the, with the authority that God is supposedly giving them, and then they're out here cheating and doing all this crazy stuff. Easy stuff you can avoid. Easy. I'm trying to get out, but it's easy to avoid. Cussing, thinking about a bad thought, being negative, not having faith, it's easy. Those are temporary things that spark in your mind. Cheating on your wife is a whole production. With multiple women, is a whole production. You're living a double life. Anyway, I can talk about this forever. Comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about it. Am I tripping? Am I on or something? Make sure you visit the Officer Tatum store. Also visit TatumReport.com. TatumReport.com. And if God has put it on your heart, donate to TatumReport.com. That's how we keep it rolling. I love you guys. See you on the next one. I'm out. Thank you.